in this lecture we will discuss about how to solve an electric circuit using Thevenin's theorem. So we will understand this with the help of an example. So let us consider one electric network which is shown here. In this network, we are asked to obtain the Thevenin's equivalent and then we have to calculate the load current by assuming the value of R, which is given here as 10 ohm. So that means this is our load resistance. Okay, so to obtain the Thevenin's equivalent of any given electric network, we uh, need two important parameters and those parameters are uh, we need RTH which is Thevenin's resistance and we need VTH which is Thevenin's voltage. Now so we can calculate any parameter first. So let us calculate RTH first of all. So to calculate RTH, we have two things to do with the circuit. One is that uh, remove the load resistance. And the second is replace the given sources with their resistances. Now by doing so, by applying these two steps on this particular network, we have this circuit here. In this circuit, you can see this particular part will be kept as open. So if we draw it here, we have this one. So this was one ampere source, it is open because its resistance is infinite. And this source, this 32 volt source is short, you can see here, right? So because its resistance is zero ohm. So by doing so, we have this circuit. And now as per the definition of uh, Thevenin's resistance, Thevenin's resistance is the equivalent resistance, which is measured from the open load terminals of the network by replacing all the sources with their resistances right now if we see if we are standing here we see we have this these three resistances connected in uh, some topology so let us try to find out what will be the value of rth in this case the rth is if you see these two resistances are in series so it is 8 plus 2 and the resultant is in parallel with this one so it is in parallel with 20 so it is 10 parallel 20 so RTH is equal to 10 into 20 divided by 10 plus 20. So it is 200 by 30 or RTH is equal to 20 by 3 ohm. So this is the first parameter to get the Thevenin's equivalent. The second parameter that we need to get the Thevenin's equivalent is we need to calculate the Thevenin's voltage. Now, how will we calculate the Thevenin's voltage? To calculate Thevenin's voltage, we will remove this load resistance and we will make the load terminals open like this. We will not do anything with the uh, sources present in the network. They will remain as it is. So we are measuring the uh, VTH across these open load terminals.
now now to calculate vth we can apply certain other basic circuit analysis methods such as uh, we can convert these two circuit elements by applying source transformation into a voltage source so by applying source transformation we have got this one okay so what is the value of voc here so voc or vth one and same thing this and is let us say plus this is minus so voc is actually if this these two terminals are ab and let us say these two terminals are x and y so being the short paths here these two are short paths so voc is equal to uh, va minus vb or voc is equal to vx minus vy that means the voltage in between these two terminals right so to calculate the voltage here we need to calculate the value of i so the value of i because if you see here if you apply kvl in this case so this current will be flowing in this way right now let us find out apply kvl here or let us apply some ohms law right so if vx is the voltage here so we'll start with vx and we will go let us say this current is flowing here in this way and this is the branch current here this one and this is the mesh current this one this one is the mesh current this one is the branch current so these two currents are parallel through 2 ohm so it is minus 2 i now let us come to 8 so it is minus 8 i let us come to 8 volt here so here it is going from positive to negative so it is minus 8 then let us come to this 32 so it is going from minus to positive it is plus 32 and then you have uh, 20 so both are parallel here so it is minus 20 i is equal to v x so these two are cancelled here so from here you have 2 a 10 and this is minus 30 i and then you have this one these two parameters so this is uh, plus 24 is equal to 0 so i is equal to uh, 24 by 30 ampere. Uh, so if we have to find out VOC, which is Vx minus Vy, so in this case, uh, Vx minus Vy is equal to, if you apply here, so it is uh, 32 minus 20i. So it is uh, 32 minus 20 into 0 0.8 so it is equal to 16 volt so it is equal to 16 volt here so this is another parameter we have obtained so the third thing that we will do is we will calculate uh, we'll draw the thevenin's equivalent and thevenin's equivalent is drawn by taking VTH and then this is RTH and across the load terminal. So load, this is Thevenin's equivalent of the given circuit. Now last thing that we will do is we will calculate the load current and the load current is calculated as IL is equal to the formula is VTH divided by RTH plus RL. So IL is equal to 16 volt divided by 20 by 3 plus 10. So it is equal to 16 into 3 divided by 50. 
so ampere so it is il is equal to uh, 48 by 50 ampere so this is how we can find out the uh, load current or we can simplify a given complex electrical network into a simple network using Thevenin's theorem. Thank you.